Okay, guys, we've botched Valentine's Day once again. I don't know how we did it. We completely screwed up Valentine's Day. Maybe you forgot what V-Day stands for. Happy V for Vendetta Day? Happy Vaginal Celebration Day? Happy Violin Day, honey! Visceral. Varmint? Is it Varmint? V Vicar. Versimilitude. This is why I'm not good at words with friends. Or maybe you gave her a gift that was really more for you than it was for her. I got us two tickets to the Monster Truck Show! It's a book on how to make more sandwiches. It's a membership to 24-hour fitness. I thought you might like to bring someone new into the relationship. And I mean, it is Black History Month. You messed up Valentine's Day. So now, the only thing left to do is to apologize. Now the three keys to a good apology are sincerity, promises, and patheticness. In order to fake good sincerity, you have to repeat yourself. Repetition is the key. I am so sorry. I am really, 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 so, 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 really, really, so, so sorry. And then we come to promises. If we're still together next year for Valentine's Day, I promise I won't screw it up. I promise I do this with every girlfriend. Next year, we'll get married. Now the next step is to be pathetic. Now think about it. She's only with you in the first place because she likes taking care of you or because she thinks, thinks of you as kind of like a gigapet. So you really have to tug on those heartstrings and remind her what a worthless piece of crap that you are. I, I don't even know what happened. I mean, I was, I had was these grand, glorious plans and I, I was gonna do something amazing. I was gonna make a cake. For you, I can barely even tie my shoes. I don't even know what a cake is. What's wrong with me? Um, I was, I, so stupid. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. I just wanna curl up and die. And of course, tears are a must. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Follow those three easy steps and I think you'll be in the clear. Join me next time when I show you how to make up for a botched President's Day. Valentine's Day actually comes at the ideal time of year. In the dead of winter, when hope seems lost and everything looks like... like dog shit. <laughs>